let's see why soleus is being ignored when we train all right so the most predominant muscle to walk and to jog is your soleus because you don't have a very stiff knee when you're jogging or when you're walking see if we just look at the anatomy of the gastroc or the gastronomias it has got two heads and has its attachment on the knee above the knee right so it is a two joint muscle and the gastronomias helps in knee flexion for up to 30 degrees it initiates your knee flexion do you ever remember that when you are performing a hamstring curl you tend to dorsiflex and then perform it because when you are stretching the gastronomias it is not going to work on the knee all right so that's the biomechanics so soleus why it's been ignored lately so it's it's high time that we understand the biomechanics of walking and running and then we decide on what to train and how to train so basically i've given you uh, a stretch uh, a way to stretch the soleus muscle and uh, that will help you to work on it if you just look at that uh, when your knee is bent you feel the stretch on your soleus when your knee is not bent you will be feeling the stretch on your gastronomias or the gastro component all right so basically when you want to stretch your soleus you have to bend your knee so that the gastronomias is already engaged in the knee so it doesn't take up the eccentric loading because it is already concentrically contracted whereas the soleus on the other end which is relaxed will go for an eccentric contraction and that's the best way to stretch your soleus so in the next video we'll be looking at what is the way and what are the ways that you can strengthen your soleus muscle or you can comment below to make sure that we discuss about the available exercises for soleus all right and this is dr wasan for fitness